Before we can tool on leather, we need to come up with a pattern, right? That's where it all starts from. And if the alternative to buying patterns or using patterns that are already uh, provided is gonna be to draw your own. That does take practice. This week's Tip Tuesday video comes from a question asked by Libby. Libby asks, what practice should I do to improve on drawing, especially how to fit certain area with flow lines? All right, my suggestion when it comes to improving your drawing for leather tooling patterns, like I said, practice. But you can get lost in the practice if you're not sure what to do, right? So my biggest suggestion is to get a notebook. Get a notebook like this, that's a spiral one, one that the pages are gonna stay in there. And any kind of sketchbook is fine. Even a lined notebook paper, it doesn't matter. The main thing is you get that book and you start practicing every day. Be able to commit, it doesn't have to be a lot of time, 10 minutes a day is gonna do you a lot of good. But be sure to set a timer, okay? So when we have that, write the date up at the top of the paper so you have the date set your timer for 10 minutes say go and then start sketching right you're gonna do that every day this I challenge you to do that for 30 days and be able to look back in your notebook and see the difference now what specifically are we gonna do within those 10 minutes we're gonna start by trying to fill up the paper but you're not gonna get that far at first at first, we can just practice the fundamentals here. So we practice lines that curve together. Notice I'm not just putting my pen down and, or my pencil down and drawing a line. I'm always sketching when I, when I do these lines because that gives you a chance to kind of change and move those as you can. You might start with just trying to sketch some circles here, right? Get your, your circles sketching. Then from there we can say, okay, this one's going around this way. If we come off of there, we're gonna have to branch off the other direction. But learning to make those transitions smooth, <clears throat> that's where some of this practice is gonna take place. Now, all we're doing here is practicing the fundamentals of drawing. I'm not being super creative, coming up with anything new, out of the box stuff. We're practicing the fundamentals. So if you wanna go deeper on the fundamentals, I will throw a link in the description to the fundamentals of uh, patterns course that I do, the drawing fundamentals course. It's an online course. It's gonna give you some of these base fundamentals. Some things that we look at, uh, for example, a line that's fading into another one here. We're looking for triangles in our patterns. And when you think about triangles, think about, okay, the widest distance here where this is branching off of there. We can draw that dotted line. This is kind of creating a triangle here. We also have a triangle coming down from there. Okay, that's gonna create that flow. <clears throat> On the other hand, if we have one that comes out and isn't, isn't as smooth, we might look at this and go, well, gosh, what, why is this, why does this one look different? I don't know why it just doesn't look as smooth. Well, <clears throat> look at that point where it breaks away we're narrow it actually gets a little wider up here almost creates a rectangle same thing down here doesn't really taper we have kind of a rectangle in there so we want to be looking for those triangles when you're drawing so that's just one little fundamental there uh, and I know this video isn't about the fundamentals it's about the practice <clears throat> but just to give you an example there kind of one thing that we'd be looking for. So again, this isn't a fundamentals course here. This is just talking about the practice, but there is that course if you're interested in it. On the practice side though, we have that 10 minute timer going. Start working to fill this space up, okay? 
And at first it's just gonna be the skeleton of your pattern, these flow lines, right? And, and it might not look like much at first. And right now, <clears throat> you know, maybe this is all you got done in your 10 minutes. That's fine. Next day, you go to the next page and you start again. There's nothing any one particular thing that you're trying to draw here. We're just looking at filling the space with things that flow, right? And you may start just by, okay, I'm gonna start by laying out my circles in this space. You know, and one day you might get half of your circles done. Another day you might get the, be able to actually get, get some circles laid in place here. Okay, so now if you got, got some circles laid in place, you move on from there. Okay, I'm gonna decide my flow. This one's gonna flow this way, so I'll pull that where that stem's gonna come. That's going that way. Then I know my next one that comes off of there, again, one of those fundamentals, it's gonna have to branch off the other direction. So again, I use these little arrows here, just giving myself an idea. Okay, that's the direction we're going. Come around here, back to our fundamentals. We practice if this is our continuous circle and we're branching off here, we need to close that circle up. So I'm gonna bring that stem over here. Okay, this is going this way. We're gonna practice getting this one coming this way. Coming back, closing that circle up, bringing that stem around. Okay, and just start to put in those flow lines there. Then you might get to the point where you're getting that laid out quick. Well, now we can start and kind of lay in the skeleton of a, of a bounced flower here. Okay, and you might have some more time and maybe we decide not to do a flower here. Maybe we decide to do a leaf of some sort. So we get a little bit of a skeleton of that leaf to fill in there. And then you keep going and, and we, you'll begin to continue building things. And when you're not thinking of that, you're having to draw a specific pattern, but you're just working to fill space within your time limit, your 10 minute time limit, it's gonna free you up and allow you to make mistakes and not worry about it, but just starting to work again through those fundamentals. And the more you practice on that every day, you're gonna get better and better and start filling more and more space. If you start learning how that flow is going and you get to where you can establish just flow in a big open space, you're gonna start recognizing, oh, we got small spaces to fill. Well, what? What fills in that space? What could fit in here? Well, we can try a little swirl in there. Oh, that does fit that space pretty decent. You know, you'll, you'll learn on, again, what those space fillers look like. <clears throat> you know, we have a, a triangle to fill. We might have some vines that come around like that. Well, that fills that space up. And you just begin to get an eye for that with that practice over time. Now, once you get that space, then when you have diffi more difficult spaces to fit into, maybe it's a specific size project. Shap tops. Shap tops are gonna be a little different, right? We got your actual shape of your shap top across here. Who knows what that's gonna be like. They're all gonna vary, right? Just do some kind of a top there. But you can set up that top on for your blank page for your 10 minutes. And then you start working at, well, trying to figure out what can flow within those spaces there. Again, you know, it just comes down to setting, setting that time, practicing filling those in. You start seeing what fits, 
in different spaces, but the only reason you know that is because you've had time to scratch around and figure things out without being too concerned about, I have to make a pattern just to fit this project, right? So taking that 10 minutes a day, I promise you, you do that for 30 days. If you don't see massive results in 30 days, let me know. You're gonna be the first one that I've ever heard about that's actually committed to doing this for 30 days. Again, practicing those fundamentals, you will see improvement. So I appreciate you guys being on here. Again, if you're interested in the full fundamentals course, that's one of those that's it's online. It's, uh, it, you can get to it from our website. That link's in the description there. It's an online course. Once you purchase the course, you have access to rewatch that as much as you want, but it's going to teach you through fundamentals like finding your, finding your triangles, looking for those, how to branch off, how to connect different numbers of circles, um, you know, using how to lay out different space fillers in here, recognizing what different spaces are, um, and, and starting to lay out a full pattern like that. So anyhow, if you're interested in that, the link's in there. Appreciate you being on. Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when we do our next videos.